Let us start by recalling the role of environment in development. Land, water, minerals and ores products from trees and animals are naturally existing substances which are central to the production process. The production is hugely dependent on natural resources in primary sector. Activities like agriculture, mining, quarrying and in the manufacturing and energy sector. Not only the primary sector activities are dependent on natural resources, but also other sectors of the economy are dependent on natural resources in various degrees. The potential of an environment to provide these resources is referred to as an environment source function. By using these resources or the resources contaminated by the pollution, the environment's source function is depleted. The environment offers another function. It absorbs the waste and pollution from various activities and cleanses it. Unwanted byproducts of production and consumption are absorbed by the environment. Example, exhaust gases from combustion, water used to clean products, discarded packaging and goods no longer wanted. Same as the source function, this function is also very important of environment. Environment's ability to absorb and render harmless waste and pollution is described by the sink function. There is a chance of occurrence of long-term damage to environment when waste output exceeds the limit of the sink function. Both these functions of the environment have been used in excess in the last 50 years of economic development. Due to this, it will have an effect on the carrying capacity of the environment. That is the capacity of the environment to support economic production and consumption in the future. Let's look at a few examples. Example 1. The lifting of water was limited to supplemental irrigation or for a small area according to the traditional practices. Example, only 2 to 3 acres can be irrigated with motabavi. Only in rainy season agriculture was practiced and most of the areas were rain-fed lands. Later, pump sets came into existence that worked with petrol or diesel and electricity with new energy resources. In two phases, the impact has to be seen. First of all, human effort was reduced. With the help of pumps, lifting of water became very easy. Usually, the water in open wells will be at 10 to 15 feet deep, maximum 100 feet deep. On the other hand, water tables started going down with lifting of groundwater by electric and motor pumps. Groundwater is being drawn from few hundred feet deep in some areas due to scarcity. To lift the water up, some water has to go down to the ground. This is known as underground water recharge. The water under the ground travels through the medium of soil and rocks. If the water drawn up is more than that of water sent down, then you can understand that after some time, you have no more groundwater for future use.